All right, well, I'm sorry to do this to you folks, but it appears this is rapidly becoming the tool repair channel. I found this two horsepower electric motor over at the scrapyard when I was turning in my cans, and um, it, it, would, it would make a nice upgrade for the drill press, because what's on there right now is only a three-quarter horse motor. Um, I'm going to test it. I have it wired up with just a cord and a couple of uh, wire nuts. Um, anytime you do this, make sure you clamp the motor down because this thing's two horsepower. Uh, this has the potential to go rolling off the off the table. It could it could hurt somebody. So let's uh, let's see if it. Uh, smokes or anything when I plug it in. Here we go. That is really nice. I'm very happy with that. And the only problem is it's turning the wrong direction. But I should be able to fix that. After examining the wiring as best I could from the outside, I decided to open it up, see if there's a clue about reversing the rotation on the inside. Well, I don't know how old this motor is, but the data plate says 60 hertz instead of 60 cycles per second, so it's newer than 1960, because that's when they made that change. Then, um, it, it was really difficult to get the end caps off, and in a minute here you'll see just what a bear it was to get the uh, pulley off it. Because this gear is beveled and I can't get back behind the flat spot, I'm going to have to clamp the puller on. Try that again. Oh. That took half an hour. So back at this end of the motor, there's a whole bunch of wires attaching this rear end on. And that ain't helping any. So I'm going to see if I can get this end off and see if I can uh, expose anything that will give us a clue. Okay, that looks good. Ooh, that bearing does not feel good. It's not in too bad a shape, really. <clears throat> but that bearing definitely needs help. This is coming off way easier than that uh, pulley came off. Alright. And... Well, just that shot of lube helped it out a lot. Um, I'm going to see how much trouble it's going to be to replace this bearing. Ha <laughs> ha! There it is. Free and clear. With an equally bad bearing. the same bearing. I'm going to replace both of those. This just turned into a motor rewind. Well, not rewind. Well, inside there is not too bad. 
So I decided to clean the outside of the armature because it had some rust on it. If you guys are wondering why this thing says shoe brush, it's because I'm a ballroom dancer and I use this to brush the bottom of my ballroom dance shoes. Alright, that's looking pretty good. I think some 320 grit sandpaper on that should do just fine. Okay, so this cleaned up pretty nicely, and uh, they had the replacement bearing over at Motion, and I was trying to put it on, and it won't fit, and what this means is that I need to put this thing in the freezer, and put this thing in the sunlight, and uh, it'll shrink this, and expand this, and then I should be able to gently tap them on with my dead blow mallet. So... Pop this in the freezer for a couple hours, we'll come back and try it. What we have here are the two replacement bearings for the motor sitting in a parabolic reflector heating up off the morning sun. Hopefully they'll expand a little bit. The armature of the motor is in the freezer. So we have here the armature of the motor. It's been sitting in the freezer for about three hours. It's almost too cold to touch. That went on just fine. Now let me go get that other bearing off the uh, parabolic reflector. This one's down the shaft a ways, so I'm going to use this piece of conduit to uh, drive it on. Oh, that went on so easy. So one of these bolts uh, the, the tip of it stripped out. Uh, but I went to my local motor rewinding shop and uh, I told them what my situation was and they actually gave me another bolt. It's a little bit too long but I'm just going to tap a few extra threads down there and, uh, it'll, and cut off the excess. It'll be fine. I'm not going to put that on camera. There's the armature with the bearings on it. It's too cold to assemble because it's got condensation all over it. I'm leaving it in the sun to warm back up and dry. Then I'll put the motor back together. When I was over at the Motor Rewind shop, we looked at all of this and we determined that these four are the run windings and this is the start winding, but the other start winding is embedded deep inside the motor windings and we can't get to it which means I cannot reverse the direction of this motor. Um, that makes it no good for my drill press but it's a two horsepower motor I'll use on something eventually. So while I'm waiting for the uh, armature to warm up and dry off I threw a coat of hammer finish gray on this motor and when all this dries I'll put it all back together. The paint's dry, the armature's dry time to put it all back together. See if it still runs. Well there it is. Brand new bearings, fresh coat of paint, two horsepower, let's see if it works. And it works. That is spinning really nice. Of course it's not spinning in the right direction to use on my drill press and I found out that's not changeable so at least I got a two horsepower motor that uh, has brand new bearings in it and I can use on something else. And that's all for this one. Please like, comment, and s subscribe.